Because I don't want to say too much yet. We're going to let all things come out in this in this due time. But you got to understand when you deny the new covenant, you calling the Holy Spirit unclean, man. Mm. You calling the blood of your house unclean unknow unknowingly. You got to understand when you deny the new covenant, you calling the Holy Spirit unclean, man. Mm. You calling the blood of your house unclean unknow un unknowingly. For they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Hashem. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Okay, so if we're in the new covenant, then that means our sin is forgiven and we, we, we're no longer sinners. So if we're in the new covenant, then that means our sin is forgiven and we, we, we're no longer sinners. But we're not living a complete perfect life in this sinful flesh. So that's a clear indicator that the new covenant has not yet been established. If we're in the new covenant, then that means our sin is forgiven and we, we, we're no longer sinners. If we're in the new covenant, then that means our sin is forgiven and we, we, we're no longer sinners. If we're in the new covenant, then that means our sin is forgiven and we, we, we're no longer sinners. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil.